Yes, Senator, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this... My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But, General... Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. It's an honor to be here, General. I have to congratulate you. Surviving the ordeal on Ord Mantell took skill and courage. I'm impressed. Just doing my duty. All the same, you got more done than most other soldiers would have in the situation. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. It's regrettable about Tavis and the others. I knew they were upset, but I never imagined they would be so foolish as to defect. Nevertheless, whatever your former squadmates once were to us, they are now extremely dangerous enemies of the Republic. Protecting the Republic from its enemies is our duty. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. So, let's load up a strike shuttle and hunt Tavis and the rest of them down like the scum they are. I would very much like to give that order, Sergeant. But I'm afraid we've discovered some new information since you left Ord Mantell. Our intelligence shows that hundreds of other Special Forces soldiers have followed Tavis and defected to the Empire. In short, Lieutenant, we have a catastrophe on our hands. What's the plan? We have one powerful asset that Tavis and his followers haven't planned for. You. Tavis believes you're dead on Ord Mantell, and that Havoc's defection is still a secret. Right now, Tavis will be securing his armament and supplies. We need to cut those supply lines while he isn't expecting it. Makes sense to me. In the past, when Havoc needed supplies outside of the normal Republic channels, they purchased the items from underworld groups here on Coruscant. I have units working to cut off these underworld sources, but two organizations are proving difficult. The Black Sun and the Migrant Merchants Guild. I'll take care of these people for you, sir. You'll begin with the Migrant Merchants Guild. Our intelligence indicates that they're supplying Tavis with a full platoon of advanced war droids. Your mission, in the broad strokes, will be to locate the droid shipments going to Tavis and destroy them. I'll see it done. One of my people, Corporal Garum, will meet you outside the Migrant Merchant Guild's territory with the full operational details. These missions are critical, Lieutenant. Our future success or failure is contingent on how well supplied Tavis and his followers are. I won't fail. Good. The safety of the entire Republic depends on your success. I'll be observing your operations from here through your armor cam. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Lieutenant! Corporal Garum, sir. Ready to brief you on the Migrant Merchants Guild at your command, sir. Let's get down to business. Here's the situation, sir. The Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal organization comprised primarily of non-humans whose homes were destroyed by the Empire's assault on Coruscant. They began squatting in this district and refused to leave when Republic security tried to push them out. There's been an uneasy truce ever since. I hope my mission doesn't make the situation worse. Uh, yes, sir. But the mission has to come first. General Garza informed me that your primary target within the Guild is a cyborg inventor named Krell. Reports indicate that Krell's strength and speed are at least triple the human norm, with genius-level intelligence to boot. Taking him down will be a real challenge, sir. I'll stay alert. Additionally, Krell has designed and constructed a full platoon of advanced war droids that we believe are intended for Tavis and the other Spec Force traders. A full platoon is a lot of firepower to lose. Tavis is really gonna feel this one. General Garza wants all of Krell's war droids neutralized before they can be shipped out, sir. Take out everything that clanks when it walks. No problem. Krell has his war droids patrolling the Migrant Merchants Guild base. General Garza wants them all found and destroyed. Consider it done. That concludes the briefing, sir. Good luck and good hunting. Republic scum! Do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. Surrender to you? 
Don't be ridiculous. I could crush your skull with a single hand. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. I won't let that happen. This is no idle threat. The droids you destroyed were mere playthings compared to what I have now created. I have taken ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else, until it's much too late. I'm gonna make you pay for hurting those people, Krell. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives, to wait until my hidden programming activates. This guy's full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. That's not gonna happen. You can do nothing to stop it. All you can do now is die. Destroy him! Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now, before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You have to eliminate Krell's creations. Those people have done nothing wrong, General. What these people have or haven't done is irrelevant. I need to prevent what they will do. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. Killing these people is wrong, and you know it, Garza. It's right for the Republic. That's our only concern. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors. Not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. I'm not going to murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're gonna do, let's do it fast. Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Just open the door. Let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. This is insane. You out there. Listen, I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's... Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. There's just no way to tell for sure, ma'am. This is insane! Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? You're right. This is absurd. I can't do this. Then, you won't hurt us, you'll let us go. Give me your names and identification numbers, and I'll let you go. What? So you can track us all down and kill us later? No way! If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay. Stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. Stay safe out there. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Lieutenant. My orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell's cyborgs. With all due respect, General, I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain. Then your heart. In that order. 
There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you. Or we're doomed to fail. If we're heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. Ah, Lieutenant. I trust no more needs to be said about your work against the Migrant Merchants Guild. Let's move on to your next target, the Black Sun, a powerful organization composed of Coruscant's most violent criminals. Black Sun has a wide network of sources providing them with the deadliest weaponry available, including a powerful nerve agent that they're selling to Tavis in bulk. We can't let that nerve gas reach Tavis. A Spec 4 Sergeant Jaxo has carried out some advanced reconnaissance of Black Sun's headquarters. You'll rendezvous with her for a detailed plan of attack. We can't risk any of this nerve gas falling into Tavis's hands, Lieutenant. Use all necessary force. Dismissed. Wow, you're the new Havoc CO. Must be my lucky day. I'm Jaxo. It's a real pleasure to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Sergeant. Hope you're ready for some fun, Lieutenant. You've got your work cut out for you. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travors. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer, with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. Do we have any way to safely deal with this stuff? Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travors, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travors completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. That sounds easy enough. Uh, yeah, but you'll have to shoot your way past Black Sun's toughest enforcers to do it. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun's base under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. Consider it done. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. I'll be sure to stay alert, Sergeant. Just be sure that handsome face of yours makes it back in one piece. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant. Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? Were you able to neutralize the Travoris? Mission complete. I wouldn't expect anything less from a man like you. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? The case contained this blaster, Sergeant. I've never seen one quite like it. Must be some sort of new prototype. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Looks like we're all done here. It's been a blast, Lieutenant. I hope we get to work together again sometime. I'll be sure to put your name forward the next time I need backup. Sounds good to me. See you later. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. What can I do to help, sir? Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being. But you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. The Senate represents the people. It's our duty to aid them. That's all well and good, Lieutenant. But every moment we waste on questions is a moment Tavis and his traitors have to prepare for us. The Senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I'm barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. It's my duty to provide accurate information to the Senate. And I would certainly never advise you against keeping the Senate fully informed of our activities, Lieutenant. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. I'm at your service, Senators. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. 
The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Senator. My squad defected right in front of me. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I don't believe there were any such signs, Senator. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen this situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Tavis said the Republic left Havoc to die on Ando Prime. Is that true? As I said, Lieutenant, that subject is classified. You needn't trouble yourself about it. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Glad to be of service. And whatever you hope to achieve with your Senate testimony, you certainly didn't make my job any easier. It's my duty to tell the Senate the full truth. Our top operators have defected to the Empire. That should be a much larger concern to you than playing it safe with a pack of bureaucrats. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Corden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis' former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Cardin tied with the defection, General? Cardin resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Tavis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive but the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home, but in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. Havoc's squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jack Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. I'll take care of it. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicars Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. These vigilantes must be pros to control that much territory. They're very popular on the lower levels, keeping the peace where the Republic won't. But make no mistake, the Justicars are no friends to the Republic. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicars' main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. <laughs>